is Brie, and today I'm gonna smoke a blunt with you. I should have worn a short sleeve shirt. The sun, the lighting situation is a little weird, but I'm gonna try and keep myself in the light. Need more light on me. Shine on me. I get frustrated that I don't have like a designated comfortable spot to sit and smoke now that I moved into my new apartment and the windows are all like really high up so there's nowhere I can really sit and still have the sun like hitting me to film oh I dropped a nut um but I would like to film in my house also where I live though there's a lot of cars going by where I live, um, there's like always cars, always traffic. Even when the windows are closed, you can kind of hear it, which I'm not complaining about, but for like um, video sake, that's not what I want, you know? <laughs> but it's just so loud. There's like, a lot of people in this area walking their doggies. I also live like really, really close to the fire department. So it's like a constant blaring of noise. Sometimes in the middle of the night, it's so loud. Sometimes I literally, I'll be in my apartment and I'll have to like, squish my ears because it's not always like the traditional wee 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 too sometimes it's just like <laughs> and i'm like what the fuck and i look outside and it isn't ambulance like and i'm not complaining about those because obviously they're just trying to do their job but the station is like right next to my house so i hear them blaring more than I normally would. <laughs> and it happens in the middle of the night, you know? But there's people's lives, people's lives in danger out there. It'll be all right. People die every day. Just kidding. Isn't that like a, a little meme, a little sound? When I went to Thanksgiving, I found myself like just repeating things that like people probably have no idea like you'll be all right people die every day i was just like random ass things that like no one probably has no idea what i'm talking about this is what i'm smoking on it's high tea herbal wraps juicy grape flavored um this is my favorite flavor some of my favorite wraps. They're real good wraps. I really don't have anything to talk about, so let's hope some things come to mind. I don't know. How are you doing? How's your day? How was your Thanksgiving? I got to see my family. I saw my dad. My boyfriend made mac and cheese. He was really excited. Ooh, these wraps are so good, dude. Oh, it's smoky in here. If anyone passes by, they're just like, it's just gonna look smoky as fuck in here. No one better call the cops on me. I only did my eyeliner and my eyelashes and like a little mascara, but we have to wear masks again in the club. I don't know how many other places are doing this, but right now Denver is, um, we have to wear a mask, so we have to wear a mask in the club. And I've only been doing like my eyeliner and my eyelashes, and I kind of like it. I don't do the rest of my makeup because I have a mask on anyways. Um, it's kind of a sexy look with the eyelashes, you know, you know 
you can see the smoke in the sun. Yo, this is my first time smoking today, right? Yeah, I wanted to wait for the video. First smoke of the day. What are you smoking? Are you smoking with me? Supposedly this is the longest Denver has gone without snow for like a while. And it's now December. There's still no snow. It's still very warm. It's like 64 degrees today probably. People ask me why I moved to Denver and I'm like, because I wanted to live where it snowed. And they're like, you're crazy. I like snow. Okay, I wanted to live where it snows. That's why I moved here. I spent the first 19 years of my life in Arizona and I was like, I want to live in some fucking snow. Oh, I don't know what happened. And now here I am and there's no snow, <laughs> no snow right now. It'll come though. What if it didn't? It will. What are you smoking on? Did I ask you already? What are you smoking on? What strain? Is it a blunt? Is you smoking with me? I hope you are. If you would like to be. I got these teeny tiny hoops. I really like them. I have these other hoops. Came in like a set of three. The smaller ones broke one day when I was at work. The medium sized ones, I don't know where they are, but I need to find them because I really want them. And then I have like a really big pair, but um, the big one like pinches my ear. It like, <coughs> so I don't wear them. I used to have some silver ones that were like, fucking massive like literally couldn't move your head but I never wore them because I wore them like maybe a few times but like never anywhere because <coughs> they were way too big <coughs> <coughs> and I was shy now like I might I might go out somewhere with them I don't know if I went dancing like I feel like I'm kind of known for like being comfortable at parties or going out to dance or going out to drink or doing something like I've gotten more into making myself like look good or whatever dolling myself up fucking bitch like right when I graduated high school and um, I started going to like parties on the weekends and drinking um, I would go to parties like in sweatpants and people would be like I like your sweatpants and I would be like, thank you. They're so comfortable. Like, why do I need to come see these motherfuckers in a full face of makeup and like heels that are not gonna be comfortable? Not talking on anyone that does that because I've kind of started doing that. And like, it's good if you're doing it for yourself, not if it's like, you're dressing up for other people's expectations or blah 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 but I I don't know I always just liked being comfortable maybe I looked like a slob all the fucking time honestly <clears throat> Thanksgiving which just happened now when I went to see my family for Thanksgiving they'd actually found my yearbook so I was showing pictures to my boyfriend and I actually said I was like, look, there's me. You can tell. Because I was always wearing sweatpants. <laughs> I was always wearing sweatpants. And like every single picture of me in the yearbook, like I'm wearing fucking sweatpants. <laughs> I honestly wore sweatpants to school almost every single day. It takes so long to do my fucking hair, dude. Who has the time? Like, school starts at, like, 7 a.m. Like, 
8 a.m. in the fucking morning, my dude. Holy shit. Like, you gotta be at the bus stop at, like, 6.45. Like, what do you mean? Who the fuck was waking up at 5 or 6 or, like, whatever and getting ready for school? If you were, like, props to you because... God, I was showing up, like, in ponytail and sweats and, like, never did my fucking makeup. Almost never. <laughs> I remember always having such a hard time getting out of bed. Um, like, in high school and even middle school. Like, I remember it just feeling almost impossible. Like, I was just so heavy and the bed was so comfortable and getting out of bed was just so fucking hard <laughs> and i've never really liked waking up early that's something i'm trying to change and i have gotten better at but when i work a lot that like easily my process like gets backtracked you know because i can work until 2 a.m sometimes when i went to work wednesday i didn't do my hair or my makeup and i've done my hair and makeup like every single day Every single day I've gone to that club, every single day I've worked there, I've full on curled my hair and pretty much a full face of makeup except recently because we've been having to wear our masks. But like a full fucking face of makeup, full hair, like even a necklace, even some earrings, like I don't even know who I am anymore. I have no fucking clue. <laughs> But then I like doing it, and I like looking good, and it does make a difference, you know. I can make money both ways because <coughs> I am a little cutie fruity, I like to think. I hope so, but I do get those customers that are like, oh, I don't like your eyelashes or like you would be cute with cute like even without makeup but then i don't know i feel like when i do do my makeup i notice i do get more customers saying that i'm like beautiful i get more customers telling me i'm pretty i think when i do my makeup um and I heard some girls talking the other day, and I'm not saying I disagree with them, because I do agree with them. Let me explain. I didn't even say what they said. They were like, yeah, I don't know a whole lot of pole tricks, but, like, that doesn't even matter. Like, it, like you don't have to. And they're like, yeah, like, it doesn't even matter. Which is true. You don't have to know a whole lot of pole tricks to make money being a stripper. <clears throat> Like, you don't have to be super good at dancing on stage. You don't have to be super good. You don't have to know any fucking pole tricks. Honestly, there's so many girls that don't know anything on the pole. They just hold it and dance around it. And then you don't even have to be, like, amazing at dancing to make money dancing. Because... Like, there's some girls that don't even go on stage at all, or a whole bunch. It's really just to get yourself up there and show yourself, and then men are like, oh, look at that girl. Like, ooh, I like that girl. I want to take her for a dance. That's where you get your fucking money. So if you can talk to customers, if you can get them to get private dances from you, that's how you really fucking get your money. And then they don't always even want you to dance on their lap sometimes they just want to talk if you can sit down and like scoot around a lot you can basically give a lap dance anyways i've noticed that i do kind of make a little more money um now that i do know a lot more pole tricks than i used to <clears throat> And it, there's not a whole bunch of girls who know pole tricks at the club I work at. I'll be on stage doing cool tricks and then someone will tip me and then someone else will tip me. And then people will literally, 
<clears throat> people will literally be tipping me for people will literally be tipping me for like the tricks I'm doing and they wouldn't have given me that cash maybe yeah cause I do I usually do two songs and then the, the third song I usually just fuck around on the pole but I notice I notice when I start doing cool tricks people just come up and like a few dollars like three dollars you know and then sometimes they're like oh wow that was really cool but one time one guy was even like yeah i saw you on stage and i thought you were pretty and then i saw you doing all those tricks and i was like wow i gotta talk to her so like i was saying you don't have to be good at pole or dancing to make money but I do be making like a good stage set. I'll look down and like a couple times at that club, I've had really good stage sets where there's just like dollar bills over the floor. And one night I got like a $20 bill on stage and then a $10 and like two $5 bills all in the same night, like different sets. But I got like, <clears throat> I got like big bills on my fucking stage and I was like damn I went home with a lot of ones like I did really good on stage and I didn't even make a lot of dances but I was happy <laughs> see like I didn't even make a fuck ton of money I made good money but not a fuck ton because I didn't get a lot of dances I did good on stage but that's not really where the money is I mean I guess it depends on the club Honestly, the club I work at right now, they don't tip a lot on stage, but they do, so I'm happy. The club I was at before, like, almost no one made anything on stage, and it was so frustrating. Especially me, though. Especially me. I don't go there anymore, though. That was a lot of weed. I just smoked honestly <coughs> thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed oh my neck pop oh hell yeah i love you and i'll see you next week